Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to do another page setup in the album that we're currently making. We are making a timeless uh, printable scrapbook album. We are making a timeless a scrapbook album and we are using... Sorry, I meant to grab this before I turned the camera on. We are using the Simple Vintage Metal Flowers from Simple Stories. And we're using the Collector's Essential Kit. We're using the Collection Kit. And also using the um, Basics Kit. You don't have to have all of those. If you were just to get one, I would get the Collector's Essentials Kit. And if you're not making a really big album, you may just want to get the Collection Kit. Because the Collection Kit comes with one of each page and... Uh, the sticker sheet where this one comes with some ephemera and chipboard stickers so if you were going to get one maybe just the the collector's essentials kit but they are at the time of filming they are still available so I, all of that is linked in the description box and i pin it in the first pinned comment um, below the video so what we've done so far is hang on i've got papers get ready to fall We've got a cover and we've got a flip page we got a, another page and they're not connected yet and then we have a flip up see-through vellum page and we have a pocket we don't have anything for the pocket yet we haven't made that yet but this is where we are so far and if you want to follow along and start from the beginning and work your way through I'll put that playlist up here and it'll take you step by step and it'll keep you in order so that you don't miss anything. There's also timestamps below in the description box and the first pinned comment. That way you can jump back in time. Like if you, I'm getting ready to show you all the things I have ready. So you may want to pause right now, get you a cup of tea and a piece of paper and a pencil <laughs> and get ready to write everything down. Um, we just printed off a lot this time and I think you're gonna like it. I think it'll be fun. But anyway, so timestamps, so you could come back to this point in time in the video if you forgot to print something off and be like, what was it that she printed? Or you you got that all printed out, ready to go. Now you want to see how to put it together, that kind of thing. That's what the timestamps are for. They're down there. They're in the comment, the first pin comment. And I'm gonna show you everything I got prepped and ready to go uh, for today's video. Okay, so the very first thing, so the, the, the set of templates that we're using is the Timeless Printable Scrapbook Album templates, and we're using the Flutter Background Design. So this is my workbook. This is something we make from the guide set of templates that comes free with your purchase. So uh, I've actually been asked several times in the past couple weeks about the workbooks. I've been getting messages, and people have been looking for them, and they can't find them, and that's because they're not actually... Um, available. The workbooks are not available. They're something that you use the guide set of templates, you print them off, and you make your own workbook. And I have a whole video playlist on how to make workbooks. I'll also link that here and in the description box for you guys. They are well worth the time, especially if you plan on making a lot of albums. So, okay, so I am going to go through and I'm going to show you everything that I have. And I'll even show you the papers that I, I cut the mats or printed the mats from, okay? So the first thing I did was I printed page number three, which is the base layer uh, number one. And I printed it plain on white cardstock and I scored, scored, and inked both sides. Inked the scores on both sides and um, that's ready to go. So that's page number three. And then page 33, Two things, I printed this out, this is page 33, which is the mat for page 3, I printed this out from part of the paper collection, I'm grabbing it now, here's all the pieces uh, cut off after I printed it, but it was just one of the simple vintage, um, the basics pay paper. So I cut that down to go through my printer and I printed page 33 on that and then here's all the leftover pieces. I'll have to put all of that in my storage spaces so that I can um, flip through them quickly like my storage envelopes and my crafty tray over here. So I inked those up. I cut them out and inked those up. So I've got that and then 
I printed page 33 um, with the flutter background design and I used this another basics which was the purple and cream I just printed right over top and look how pretty that turned out isn't that gorgeous and if you didn't have the basics, you could use the shades of color that uh, I talked about previously and we've used previously. You could just use those instead, but since I have the basics, I'm going to use those. So I've got those cut out and ready to go. Also page 33. Okay. Next up, it, whoops, <laughs> the suction. I don't, I've only got one strip of, of adhesive, like tape on there so when they get sucked together it pulls it apart because I don't put a bunch of tape on there see the same thing Boop. all right the next thing I printed page seven now I just wanted to say right now that before I forget because I think I'm going to forget I actually printed off several of these but I'm only going to use one but you can print as many of these pages off to do exactly what we're going to do with it in this video and it's all about photo room for photos so if you need a lot more room for photos then you can print several of these pages off and do the same thing we're getting ready to do just multiply it so i printed page number seven off and i just printed it plain and i cut the top the bottom and the right hand side tab off and i just left one tab on and I scored it and inked up both sides. I haven't put tape on anything. Well, maybe a few things, but um, then I printed the mat for page number seven. See, page number seven is the main base page, pocket flip. It could be whatever you need it to be. Uh, the mat for that is on page 37, and I printed two of them in the flutter background onto cardstock, and I've cut them out and inked them up. So I've got those two, and then. Let's see, what else do we got? We have, I'm making sure my camera's still going. Page number 10. I printed this off in the flutter background design onto cardstock. And, oops, actually it goes like this. Boop. Onto cardstock. We're not going to be using this part in today's video, I don't think. So I'm going to put this aside. And this one up here, this, this pocket, it's actually a pocket, what is it called here? A pocket flip. I have cut the two long tabs off. And, well, I didn't cut the long tabs off. I kept that whole piece together. So I left that tab just in case I wanted it to be a pocket. I left all the tabs onto here. But I knew what I was going to do with this. So I cut both long tabs off. And I left, let's see, what did I do? Oh, I haven't cut it off yet. Oh, oh yeah, I have. I was going to say, wait a minute, I didn't cut it off. I left the top tab on and I cut the bottom tab off and then for this piece down here it's a, it could be a belly band it could be a pocket I cut the bottom tab off and I left the other three tabs on I scored inked and put tape on and then when I miter to the corners they don't overlap so that way there is no bulk there and this is going to be a pocket. So there's that. Then page 11. I printed page 11 off like this. It doesn't really matter which tabs. I printed page 11 off on two cardstock, plain. And I left one long tab on each one of them. So these two are going to be flip pages, and I, inked, I scored and inked both sides. I haven't taped anything yet. Well, I guess we're going to be doing some taping in today's video. And then page 14, I printed the vintage script uh, version, and that's free with all your purchases of the Timeless. You get a, a vintage script version, and... We're not going to be using the bow today, I don't think, so I'm going to set that aside. These two pockets, I have cut them out, I have inked them, scored them, and, and did the same thing with the, the mitering of the corners. They don't overlap. So I've got both of those prepped and ready. And then this one, this little, is it what's it called? Small policy. I have cut it out. I have scored it and inked it up, except we're going to be using this side. <laughs> I already matted it. I actually got a little frustrated with myself because I traced 
these pieces uh, upside down because I'm using the uh, opposite side. I forgot to turn it over. But these are, let's see. I use this paper here and this one is from the six by eight paper pad. I use this pretty plaid, purple plaid, and then these were leftover bits from um, one of the shades of colors that we used already. So I just went ahead and matted it and we'll glue it together uh, when we get to that point. And set that aside. One more thing. We're almost there. Page 29. I printed page 29 onto white cardstock. I printed plain. So I cut both of them out and then I made them into a tag shape using the corner chompers, the photo angle corner chomper. I used the, the angle one for these. And then for the mats, I used the large from the large small angle corner chomper. These are, I know these are an investment, but I love them and they're worth every penny. There's an Amazon list too for these. For this project, I have everything linked in there as best I can if you just want to check it out. Okay. Um, so I did that. And then I printed off the mats, which are on page 59, out of the flutter. I printed those off and then made them into a tag shape. And then I used those to trace onto a pattern paper. So these are both from the six by eight paper pad. And uh, yeah, I have the, this one was the one that looked like this, right? Super pretty. And then the other one, this one here is from the tag sheet. I think we already used a tag and I don't know where this, was it here? No, was it here? Yeah. So I just traced it. So these are just all leftover scraps. I'm gonna move them to the side. All right, so that, that's where we're at right now. Let me get this straightened out and I'll be right back. Okay, I have moved everything aside, but I think we're gonna to need to do some taping. So let me show you, let me move this. Let me show you where we're gonna put it. Okay, so here's our contraption so far. <laughs> our contraption. <laughs> Right, so we've got the bottom layer, and this is going to be underneath that bottom layer. So this one flips over this way. Right, so then this one is going to do the opposite. It's going to go on this side, and it's going to flip over this way, like this. Okay, so I kind of just wanted you to get a feel for what we were doing, what we're trying to accomplish here. Even though we haven't put it together, we might, I might end up, I might end up, um, attaching these in underneath there today. We'll see how much time we, we end up having. <laughs> but how did I tape this one? Might as well tape it the same. So I'm gonna tape one side of the tab for this one. So it's gonna be the exact opposite of this. So it's gonna be like this. So I'm gonna put tape here. So have it on the left side facing up. That's where the tape's going. I'm going to grab Um, one inch and I'll probably need a quarter so I'm just gonna grab them all of my tape resources are linked down below I buy them from several online scrapbooking stores and I get some from Amazon it just really depends on what size you're looking for or your budget or uh, what works well in your area uh, not all adhesive is created equally <laughs> And that's a that one's a long that's a hard one to explain how tape how tape can be affected by your area but um, any who's it can so if you're trying a new thing a new adhesive just buy a small amount so that that way if it doesn't work good in your area you can donate it to someone or um, give it away or trash it so it won't be that big of a loss I guess. I'm trying to say I forgot what I was doing oh my gosh you guys oh I was gonna put <laughs> I was gonna put tape on here so this flap is it doesn't matter which side it's going on because they're both sides are blank at the moment so I'm gonna put tape on the tab right here so 
So this one was three fourths of an inch. This one is a quarter of an inch, and this one is three eighths of an inch. I have all the sizes. I love all the sizes. I use all the sizes, so I appreciate all the sizes. All right, let me see. What else did I not tape? Okay, I didn't tape. Let me move the tags and inserts. I didn't tape. I got that taped. I didn't tape these three things. So for the one that was the flutter, the flutter flip flap, <laughs> we're going to turn it upside down, turn it over, and we're going to put tape on this side. And I'm, I'm going to cut a little bit of that tab off too. And I'm also going to put tape on these two tabs. Since they're both plain, it doesn't matter which side. Just pick one and go with it. and then I'm, I've got my glue ready to go you guys it's sitting in my garbage bowl for a minute because I need to fill it up again I noticed that when it's when it's low um, it doesn't want to come out as quickly so I need to fill it back up again but the inside of that bottle is Fabri-Tac all right so I'm gonna notch these two corners and I'm gonna notch these two corners on the tab glue. I'm going to have to get something else to put my glue in. And I'm going to notch this one. Let's just notch them all. Everything we just taped, we're notching. I don't need to notch anything else. I have to already get everything else. So even this one, I'm going to just go at a slight angle. You don't need, it doesn't need to come straight up. Okay, so we're going to work on the top here. So with the tape we just did, spacing up. So we're going to actually take this page here and we are going to attach it to, oh, I thought I didn't hit the record button. We are going to attach it to the top here. And I'm going to remove the tape backing. And I like to do it like this. So that way I don't go over my score mark. I, gotta, I can see better. So you guys do it exactly the best way for you to see. Okay, so we got that. And we're going to burnish that down. Okay, so on this, we're going to add two flips. So these are for photo mats, and they're going to go on either side like this. I just need to decide if I need to center them or not. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's center. Let's try to be nice and neat about it. Okay, so I'm going to just use my centering ruler. This is a Tim Holtz ruler, and I'm just going to mark the center on there. And I'm going to mark the center on here. All right, so I'm going to take the tape backing off. And I'm going to line up, I'm going to try to line up the center dot first. So this is what I meant by you can add as many of these pages as you want. You can add another one on top, another one on top, another one on top. You can just keep going. You can add one over here and have it flip out this way. You can have them. You can have as many as you need for as many photos as you have for your project, for your album, whatever, whatever you took pictures for. You can have um, as many pages as you need for that. 
And that's one of the things I love about the printable templates is you can print as many things as you need uh, for whatever project you're making. It's not a set um, design. Okay, so I did pretty okay. I got a little off right there, but I am not concerned about it. It will not be seen. Okay, so we have that. And then we are gonna take this piece here. Let me think. Let me think for a second. Something, something seems, no, this is right. We're gonna take this piece here and we're gonna attach it to where it flips down. Okay, so I need to burnish that a little bit better. I don't know why I put my, my pokey up. <laughs> I need it. So I'm going to stick this on here. And try to get it on there straight. So now we've got this so far. Okay, next thing I wanna add is these two pockets. So I'm gonna add this first because I'm gonna tape it down so that it doesn't intrude, intrude so it doesn't stop inside. Actually, no, I'm not gonna tape it down because we're gonna have an, um, a mat over top. Did I not? print a mat. Interesting. I could have swore I did. Uh-oh. Well, I did take pictures of everything I was going to do. Let me check. Let me just double check real quick. Oh, no, I didn't do that. I haven't figured that out yet. I don't know what the mat's going to be just yet. So we'll, we'll have to do that together. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So I'm going to take the tape backing off, but there will it will be matted, so you don't have to tape the tab down so that it won't interfere with the inserts. Okay, so I'm going to line this up in the corner here. Aren't these fun little pockets? These little corner pockets, aren't they cute? I don't, I have no idea what I'm going to put there now. Oh my goodness. I knew there was something I was forgetting. I mean, I know I don't have inserts. I don't, I don't have everything planned out for the setup, but I knew there was something I was forgetting. So, now I know. Alright, and then I've got one more thing I'm going to go ahead and attach, and that is this here, and we are going to flip this all the way to the back, and we're going to put it up here. It's going to be like a up tuck, and it will also have a mat, except I have that one ready to go. So... Right, so I'm going to flip this around so I can line up this bottom or this corner, this top corner here, not bottom. I do write page numbers so that I don't get confused because when I prep, um, I might prep a couple days ahead of time or something, and sometimes I forget. And it takes longer to go back and look than it would just be to write it down <laughs> on the thingy. We are going to mat the inside here with these mats. Like this. And then we'll put photo mats on the flap. So I'm going to grab my Fabri-Tac. You could use tape for this if you wanted to. You do not have to use glue. Uh-oh. It's not going to be holding anything 
any weight or anything. It's just a mat. So do whatever you're most comfortable with. Although I did get glue on the other side there. So I did print some mats off for here. So these are the photo mats essentials. They are for four by six photo mats. They have the photo corners on them. And, but you could also, I didn't print any off yet. You can also print some off for these pages if you want. Or you could use, you could use three by four photo mats if you want. Like, well, yeah, I figure they could go like that too. So you can do whatever configuration of photo mats that you want, but for now, I'm just gonna do the flips because I know uh, I want those on there. So I'm, grab I'm grabbing my four by six photo stamp from my stamp set, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to use a color. I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna use the Scorch Timber. Okay, so I've got that done. Now, I think I'll mat this. So I'm using, I'm gonna use the blue. Page 33, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mat the um, spine there as well with it. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with like I haven't decided how I'm going to decorate or embellish or am I going to add anything additional I haven't decided yet and I'm okay with that I like being able to just uh, I like being able to just go with the flow we can always come back and add things and do things that way there's not so much in a video you know but I am trying to do better about not having 5,000 videos per album. <laughs> I know that was a bit of an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Okay. There's that. Then let's flip it over to the back side here. And we are going to add the photo mat here. And I'm going to do this part first. Because I think I'm going to put uh, paper clips on that. Let's see, does this have a, a way? Oh, wow. I'm going to put because this is going up I want to add a couple paper clips here so that if I do have anything loose sticking up in there it won't fall out so um do I want to use the big long ones that those might be too long but are they too long No, I think the long ones will be good. So these are really big gold paper clips. I will add them to my Amazon list because they, um, let me scoot them a little bit closer. What's great about, uh, well, not what's great. I had, I found a package where it had three different, two different sizes or something. I don't know. So the gold and the smaller ones that came in the same package. I'm going to put some tape on the back side of here. I'm going to glue it and tape it. That way they don't move. I keep getting notifications that there is um, somebody at my door, but there's nobody there. I think there's a, a spider or something that's like spinning its web right there, and it's like picking up on it. Hopefully that'll be good enough to hold that still. 
so those don't come out. I don't think they will, but you never know. Right, I'm gonna let's see what else can I oh I guess while we're gluing I'll just glue some things together let's just finish gluing some stuff together I have these let me glue this so I first I need to decide which way it's gonna go because you can have either one of those, one on top of the other, whichever way. I like that right there. So I'm gonna put some glue here. And some glue here. Close that. And then put some glue here. Oh. I am going to do a wax seal on this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, I'm going to sit that right there. So don't forget, don't forget, wax seal. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and mat these tags really quick. I have got everything matted, and then I want to do a wax seal. I'm going to do a tiny little baby wax seal, just a little bitty one, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Actually, I might have to get some more wax. I probably need one more. I have small wax seal stamps. I wonder, I don't think I have them close to that. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, look at this. Look at this little bitty, teeny, tiny. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, here. I have a couple small. I'm not going to use these because I'm going to show you something else. But I have that, and I have another. Oh, here, right here. These are small, like double ended. Though no, that's not double ended. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Because you may think they was in a different drawer. So this one's double ended. But yeah, you can find these as well. But these, I feel like this is still too big. So let me let me show you. <laughs> this is so cute. This is such a stinking cute idea. Let me scoot you in so you can see better. But if you see, if you look, whoop. Oh, you can't see. Come on, focus camera. Focus. Ugh. I can't tell if it's focusing or not. Let me see if I scoot in on it. Nope. Oh, dang on it. There you go. Oh, don't move. You see there's a little stamp in there. <laughs> my camera is so tiny, my camera will not focus. What I did was I used one of these alphabet stamps. I used an H um, for my experiment, but I think this time I'm going to use the number four. I don't know why, I just like the number four. Or two. Maybe I'll use two. Let's use two. And I'm going to pour a little bit out on here. And I guess I should try to mark the center just so I can get it where I want it. Oh, shoot. My battery's getting ready to die. Hopefully, it will melt fast enough for me to do this. I'm going to pour just a little, tiny, tiny little bit, and then I'm going to use that little stamp. And hopefully I have it right set up. And I'm going to hold it because it's not a flat surface. And 
Oh, it's still not dry yet. Come on, dry before my battery dies. Oh, it's a little off kilter, but <laughs> isn't that adorable? You see the two now? It's not, it's a little off center, but that's okay. It's just cute. It's just cute. So, I'm gonna get that shiny really quick. Hang on. I'm just gonna grab a lighter lighter and hopefully not catch my paper on fire. I'm just gonna run it over top just to make it shiny. So, that's cute. Can you see it now that it's shiny? Okay, well, probably not, but look how cute that is, you guys. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna change my battery. I'll be right back. Okay, I decided what I was gonna do for my mat inside of here. <laughs> I printed the shades of color too. I printed uh, number 19, which is kind of a pinkish, mauvey, mauvey color. Um, but you have to do your own test print because you never print or prints differently. So I'm just, I'm going to mat the inside of this with this color. Might as well put all the colors in the album in one page, right? Makes perfect sense. So I just traced it. I didn't need to ink that much, good grief. All right. So I'm gonna glue it, glue it down. I'm gonna glue it down. I'm gonna glue it in. I didn't even ink all the way around because you're only gonna see this top portion in this middle section. So I just, I left the, I left the um, sides bare. All right, so I'm gonna sit these two. I just printed it onto cardstock, white cardstock. Let's put those aside. So these, I don't know what I'm gonna do here yet with those, like pull tabby thingies, pull tabby thingies. Um, you know what I mean. But there's the little envelope. I actually was gonna put a little paper clip. Do I have any of the tiny ones? The really expensive tiny ones. Not sure those are worth the amount of money I paid for them. They are cute, but I'm not sure they're worth what I paid. But anyway, isn't that cute? I guess we could stick that anywhere now that I've got a little paper clip on there. Um, I have a few embellishments that I'm thinking about using, and I also want to use some washi tape. So let me grab the embellishments I was thinking about for here. Uh, these are both part of the embellishments and I was just thinking about adding a few layers like this or something just to kind of break it up a little bit and then I wanted to add washi tape. Washi tape meaning washi tape that I made myself. Did I, I, did I show you guys how I made the washi tape? I don't know if I did or not. Hmm. I don't know. Did I? Hold on, I'll share with you now. All right, let me, let me put this up. Okay, this is washi paper. You don't have to use washi paper. You could use tape, you could use vellum, um, whatever. You don't have to use washi paper, it's just fun because um, it's sticky, you know, it's already got the adhesive on there and it's got the feel of washi tape and you can make it, you can print on it, you can make it whatever you want. I'll have it, li it's linked in my Amazon. Matter of fact, I did uh, print my shades of color too. I did print them onto washi paper. So if you want it to, you could just do that and um, it, it's see-through and then you can just add, you can cut these little pieces up and just add a little bit. You can stamp on it, add a little bit of washi uh, to your project uh, with color like this, which is also a good idea. But let me show you. The way I did these is I had them, I had them um, in strips already. So I think what I'm gonna do, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my stamp. This is the stamp. I've got it linked in my Amazon list. And I'm gonna need another piece of paper. All right, this is what I've been using to stamp on. I'm just gonna stamp on this one end, um, cause you know, we may not 
need this much of this color <laughs> or this image or whatever. I'm going to, I can't remember if I showed you all how I did this. I have recorded several videos right up to this point and I've only edited one of them, which is terrible um, at this point, but it's okay. It's all right. So I'm just going to use the brown ink that we are using in this project. Oh, whoops. That's okay. It'll just give it character. So I'm going to press it down. We are using the Scorched Timber. It just goes really nicely with the tone of this paper. Nice. And then let me see if I can get some more down here. And if not, it's okay. Let's put a little bit more on here. I don't want to repeat exactly what's on here. All right, good enough. And I am gonna hit it with a little bit of heat. I just wanna dry it really fast. just didn't want it to smudge. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna grab, I have all the colors that go with this here. What is this one? Oh, Lumberjack. This is uh, the Lumberjack plaid. I don't think I have any Lumberjack plaid. So what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna take my ink pad and I'm just gonna swipe an area like this. Oh. And then what other one do I not have very much of? I've got some of the pink. Hmm. This speckled egg, weathered wood and speckled egg. Let's do Victorian Velvet right next to the Lumberjack. And then, speckled egg. And I don't have any yellow either. Should I do some yellow? I don't know if I'll use yellow, to be honest. I'm not gonna do the yellow. Did speckled egg, weathered, let's do weathered wood, and then a lot of times these will mix really nicely if it's the right color combination. So, and then bundled sage. You can even mix and match them on purpose. So I'm gonna heat set that. So now that's um, heat set to, to the best it's gonna be. Like you can still, it still will react to water, I believe, I believe. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna cut, let's just cut a five inch. Let's do five and a half. Let's cut it a five and a half inch. Let's just cut it in half. I'm gonna set that aside. Although that might be kind of a cool strip. <laughs> but I'm gonna set that aside. So then what you wanna do is just make different sizes. If you wanna measure, then you can. So this is an eight and a half piece. So like if you wanted to do half inch pieces, you would cut you know, half inch, if you wanted to do one inch pieces, if you wanted to do three-fourths, 
You see what I'm saying? If you wanted to do three eighths of an inch, um, that's a good size as well. If you want to do smaller, let's do three eighths. And then, let me see that one's, that's a big chunk. Three eighths is, let's do five eighths, I guess. And then we can mix this one up. It could be both. And if you don't care about the sizes, well, just go through and just say, oh, yep, like that. I don't know what that measurement was. I don't know what that measurement was. We're going to do a combo piece. Let's make that a little bigger. It's easier if you don't care what size you make them. You could tear them uh, lengthwise, but I think they look better teared like on the ends, you know. Not so much the top and bottom. So yeah, you can make them as big or as skinny as you want. Let's see. I'm just trying to keep it straight. Right, so now we got all these little strips. And what I do is I just like to put them on here. Like I did tear these up into smaller pieces, um, which you can do as well. Or you can leave them whole. So I think I'll leave them whole. And let me show you how easily, where's my pokey? There it is. Let me show you how easily these come off. It works best for me if I grab the corner of the top part, the washi part with my pokey. It just works better. Uh, it comes off easier. So, yep, now you can see um, exactly what it looks like. And this is just parchment paper. This is Reynolds Kitchen Roll parchment paper. And I just, I don't know why they're in these random sizes, but they are. It is what it is, right? So you could just put it like this and do it like this. That way you don't get them overlapped. All right, I'm going to take a minute and do this. And I'll either fast forward or I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take long, just a second. So it does peel off these um, parchment papers perfectly fine. So, but yeah, now we've got quite a bit of a washi to choose from. So, what was I gonna do with it? Do y'all remember? Oh, I do. <laughs> I was gonna put some on here. I probably should have done it before I glued these down, but hey. So I wanted to add some color to these little pockets because I feel like there's not that much, I mean, that's why this is here, to kind of differentiate between this and this. But I feel like it needs some washi too. So now I just need to decide what I want to do. I do like this green a lot. So I'm going to grab some of this. And just tear it. I'm gonna stick it down. If you have to, you can come back and glue it. Like that. And then do I have a skinny blue somewhere?
wonder if we should try to put a word here or something. Like from the sticker sheet, maybe? Or from the chipboard stickers? Mm. Let's see. Maybe I can get my purple in. A little bit of purple. Breathe, maybe? Bloom with grace. Okay. Oh, I like that. That looks really, 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 really good. All right. Oh, I have actually, I actually already have one other thing planned. Let me grab it. I hear a dog. Where is the dog coming from? Huh. Um, this is another piece of ephemera from the one of the ephemera packs and I was gonna put that back here and now that I got my faux washi tape out I might put some on here so this was one of the things I was gonna do so I was gonna do that and I might even put is it this one walk with nature or look. Mm -hmm. Bloom and grow your dreams. Is that what I was thinking about doing? Okay, so if I did that, um, I want to put some washi tape underneath it. And so, let me stick you on my glue for a second. Right? Wouldn't that be cute? Or what about walk with nature? I could do that instead and add washi tape behind it. Ooh, let's do that. <laughs> Change my mind! Walk with nature. Okay, so what? We got purple, pink, let's do blue. Let's do a blue one. Oh, I might want to glue it down first, huh? So this was what I was thinking. Should I add another something there? I think I should. Let's do a spring. Okay, let me glue this down. <laughs> oh, I need to make sure. Goodness, I got excited. I need to make sure that it doesn't. Yep, we're good. And I'm going to glue this down. Actually, I'm going to ink it first. Then I'm going to glue it. It's not going to be that noticeable. But... Oh, well, that looks so good, you guys. Okay, I don't have an insert or anything for that yet. So, um, that's all I was thinking for that. I was thinking about adding photo mats to this, maybe? On this side. Because you can fit two of these three by four photo mats here and we'll still have room for our thing you can even fit well 
You can, but I'm not going to, I don't think. But I will do, I know I know what we're going to do. We're going to do three before, two three before photo mats. Yeah, so it just adds, it just adds a little bit of color. I like it. I mean, we probably will eventually put more things on these, possibly. But I am going to measure the center and we'll do a whole reinforcement. And then we'll be done after we do that. Let me shut this. Oh, you know what? Should I put a sticker on here and here? Wait a minute. While I'm thinking about it, why not? Where's that bloom? Will that look silly? Yeah, that won't work now. Good for the soul. How about that? Let's do that. Good for the soul. And then... Always spread kindness. There. There we go. Look at me using my stickers. Okay, back to measuring. That is so cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I'm going to stick these back in here. Oh, that looks way better now that it's got that. Way better. And we got that one. And that. Is that crooked? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. That looks really good. And then it slips down. We haven't done anything here. That's okay. Whoa. <laughs> we accidentally have a pop-up. Boop. It was glued together. We haven't done anything in here. But again, you can add as many of those as you want. And then on the back side here, we just have that. And it's a tuck, but we don't have anything for that yet. But all right, I am loving where we're going. Okay, we've kind of run out of time. We've been doing this for a while now. So we, it'll go right here. Let me show you what it's gonna look like once we start gluing things down and together. Okay, so here's what we got. So this flips down, over, flip, flip, over. See, I wanted to kind of keep this flat because it was gonna be rubbing up against here. So this is what it looks like um, next to where it's going to be attached, right? So then this flips, this flips, this flips, okay? I'm liking it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying the videos, if you're enjoying the project. Let me know what you think about the uh, DIY washi tape, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.